Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I am back. My name is Miss Robinson and I have another math video for you guys. We are still in chapter three and we are looking at lesson 3.5 today. And in lesson 3.5, we are going to be dealing with arrays and solving multiplication using arrays. So you may be asking yourself, what is an array? An array is just another model that we can use in multiplication to help us find the product when we are given two factors. So we know the factors are the numbers that are being multiplied and the product is the answer to that multiplication problem. So the first thing that we want to make sure that we understand is when we're dealing with the rays, we are dealing with rows and columns. So I want you to do this when you say rows because rows are how many are going across. So these are rows and these are columns. How many are going top to bottom? And once we have that figured out, we will know how to take a multiplication problem and create an array for it. Or if we are given an array, we will learn how to look at the array that has been presented to us and then come up with the corresponding multiplication problem. So as always, I'm going to give you guys a couple of examples and walk you through that. And then at the very end of my examples, excuse that noise. That is my dog Genesis behind me. Sorry. After those examples are done, I will come back and give you guys my last few thoughts before I close the video out for the day. So I will see you in just a second. Okay, so here we have three times six, and this is our first example. We need to create an array that matches this multiplication sentence. So what I've done to give ourselves some reminders is I've labeled my first factor with an R because I need to remember that my first factor tells me how many equal groups I'm dealing with, and the R tells me this factor is going to be represented in rows. And rows are my groups that are going from left to right, which is why I have that arrow there to remind me rows go left to right. My second factor tells me that I need to have in each of those equal groups six because the second factor tells you how many pieces or objects do you have in those equal groups. So I have three equal groups and in each of those equal groups I should have six pieces. And it's labeled with the C to tell me that these are going to be columns with an arrow going down because I need to remember that my columns are the groups that are going from top to bottom and it will make more sense as we go through. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and start establishing my three equal groups. So I'm going to put an X here. I like to use the X's when I make my arrays. That's group one, group two, group three. That is the beginning of my three rows or my three equal groups. Then I'm going to look at my second factor again and say, okay, it's telling me in each of my groups, I need to have six pieces. I should recognize that I already have one piece in each group by just creating the groups. So here I have one, but I need a total of six. So I need five more. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. That row or that group is done. Same thing for the second one because they need to be equal groups and each of them needs six. I already have one there. So this is going to be two, three, four, five, and six. That group is taken care of. Now onto my last equal group. I need a total of six pieces. That's my first one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And just to be sure, do I have three rows? Row one, row two, row three. Yes. Do I have six columns? Those are going top to bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. So, so far so good. I've correctly created an array to match that multiplication sentence. But now you might be asked, okay, now what is the product then of three times six based on your array? Well, I can count each of them individually, each of my X's. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So that tells me that the product of 3 times 6 is 18. I could also remind myself that multiplication is repeated addition, and I could do that as well. So I know this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is also going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's also going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I can say, look, I'm adding six plus six plus six. That is repeated addition. I know that six plus six is 12 and six plus another six does give me 18. 
So this array shows me that the product of three times six is going to be 18. Now I'm gonna show you an example where they provide the array for you. So they've already done that for you and they ask you to create a multiple, well not create, they ask you to write a multiplication sentence that matches the array that they show you. So that will be the next example that I show you. example you are shown an array and you are asked to create or write a multiplication sentence that goes along with it so the first thing that you want to do and what I would suggest is just put down the pieces for your problem because this will kind of make things a little bit easier so I know this is going to be a multiplication problem I know my first factor is going to represent how many rows I have my second factor is going to represent how many columns I have and then I'm just going to fill things in from there so if I'm looking at my first factor and I want to know or I want to remind myself that my first factor represents how many rows I have, then I'm going to say, okay, I have a, ro a row going that way, excuse me, a row going that way, and a row going that way. I have a total of three rows going across. Remember, rows go from left to right. So in this case, for the first factor, I know that it must be three. Then my second factor, I'm reminding myself that the second factor tells me how many columns do I have that are equal in size and in group. I have one there, two, three, four, five, six. I have six groups going top to bottom, so I have six columns, which therefore tells me that my second factor would be six. Then that tells me the, the multiplication sentence that goes with this particular array would have to be three times six. And then the same as I did before, if I wanted to figure out the product of three times six, I would count all of my pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I have a total of 18. And just to reiterate the idea that multiplication is repeated addition of the same number, let's look at this array in a different way. So here I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Second row, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Third row, I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm adding six plus six, which is 12, and then 12 plus another six, and that would be 18. And that just shows and proves to us that this multiplication problem that we've created based on this array represents repeated addition of the number six. So those are the two examples that I have for you guys today. I'm gonna turn the camera around, close out the video, and then we will be all set. All right, so those are your examples with either writing a multiplication sentence based on an array that they have given you, or creating an array from the multiplication sentence that they have provided you. So one of the things you wanna just always remember is that rows go this way, columns go top to bottom, it's always rows before columns. I like to remember it by saying Rancho Cucamonga, R before C. So when you have a problem like that, just keep those two things in mind. Your first factor is your rows, your second factor is your columns, and then you create your array based on that, and then you should pretty much be good to go. And even if they're showing you an array that's already created, count your rows, count your columns, and there you have your multiplication sentence. So that's it for today, you guys. I hope that you found this helpful as always. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, and I will keep making them for you guys. Other than that, have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.